Hi, Grant here, Pat. Grant with Battery Wholesale here. Just wanted to kind of, I know a lot of guys are getting excited for ice fishing here. I'm hearing like our uh, Red Lake up there has got six to seven inches and people are starting to walk out on the ice and getting ready for the, the ice fishing season. Well, with that follows the trailer houses here soon. So I do get a lot of questions in my retail stores, people out on the street and that type of thing on how do I size up my batteries or what do I, what do I put in my fish house so I can last the weekend and not have to worry about it. So what it is, I wanted to just kind of start with some of the basics here on, on batteries. You're gonna have your conventional wet cell, which is kind of like the crown that's up here. Uh, there is still liquids in the battery. They work just great. Um, they have different sizes. You're gonna have group 24, group 27, group 31. So as you go bigger, you, you'll run longer, okay? So with that, most fish houses are gonna come with a group 24 uh, in size. And that'll be about like this case size here. It's just an old one here, but it'll be about that size. It's typically what most fish houses are going to come with from the manufacturer. So they're going to—they're the least expensive for them to put in. They work just great under certain circumstances. But if you—if you're running your stereos, your lights, and all the different things inside, we're, we possibly are going to need to start to bump you up into some better, some better options. Going with the group 27, which is about an inch longer than the 24, or possibly even going up to a 31 uh, to get longer amp hours. So you do go from the conventional wet cell. A lot of guys ask me on the gel. Um, they're talking a lot about the Optima six packs. Those are actually called absorbed glass mat, an AGM battery. So the acid's actually embedded in the paste. Um, so they don't freeze uh, as easily but they still can freeze out if they sit discharged. So that's going back to the wet cell, is if a battery is sitting discharged, so it's not fully charged up to 12.6, what happens is the acid more or less migrates back down to a water state. So we all know when it gets cold around here, water freezes. So if you have a fully charged battery, the gravity levels are more acid, so therefore uh, the battery won't freeze, it goes down to the it's way into the negatives before it actually will freeze. So we don't really have to worry about that up here. So if, you, if you're storing your battery in the winter, you can keep it. Uh, just make sure you're keeping it fully charged and it will not freeze. So that goes for your bolts and that type of thing also. Uh, what you can do is also you can move up to some AGM batteries. Um, I did set out some, uh, I have a Lifeline here. And then I also have a North Star um, back here. So North Star is a pure lead um, battery, so they're gonna have, their cycle life is tremendously longer. Uh, our, our cycle life, excuse me, is tremendously longer. You're gonna get 900 cycle lives out of a battery at 50% uh, depth of discharge. So you're gonna have higher amp hours in there also than, uh, than your conventional wet cell or your Optimas, uh, just because if you think about the six pack, all the different gaps in the middle there, uh, they have less amp hours in them. So like I said, I am just doing a short video here, first time we're ever doing a Facebook Live. So I am just trying to give some simple basic knowledge on how to start to size up the house. So some guys will migrate from a Group 31 AGM like this, they'll go into some six volts. A lot of campers are using these now, okay? So a lot of them are coming with a wet cell inside, uh, for instance, like the crown that I have here. Um, or they'll move up to a Lifeline 6 volt, uh, which will be an AGM also. So by doing that, you're going to up your amp hours. So we'll talk in some other videos about amp hours and how you want to add more amp hours, because uh, amp hours basically is like a fuel gauge, or a fuel tank for you, excuse me, for how long you can run in between charges. So then we'll also start talking some about charging systems and make sure you have the proper charger for the different types of batteries. So we'll get into those. The nice other advantage with the AGMs are you, uh, the gassing is very minimal. Uh, North Star here, for instance, they put a, a valve on here where you can hook a hose up on the front of the battery here, where you could basically put a bleed valve out to the side so under certain circumstances where it does gas, it'll go out the hose. So what that means for you is that big white box that's underneath the seat that's in there with the big hose, you can eliminate that hook up a plastic hose to this, run it down, and you can get your gassing out the same way. You don't have to worry about the, the stinky gases and that type of thing like you do with a wet cell. 
So like I said, this is more or less just an introductory offer. We're kind of trying to see how Facebook Live works. Uh, here shortly we're going to go out into my ice castle here. We're going to bring a, uh, our amp meter out there with us. And we're going to talk about some of the different things. Uh, people are always asking, well, how, how come this is running or how come I'm out with a dead battery? And we'll talk about some of the things to look for um, and how to, how to size up so we're all stay warm here in the winter. So we'll check back in. Definitely if you guys have any questions, post it here on Facebook. We'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Or you can call us at our stores at 1-800-777-2243. Uh, or you can visit us on the web at bwioutlet.com. We'll answer your questions there also. So definitely shoot us the questions. We'll help you out. We'll size you up. Uh, look forward to meeting you guys this winter here. Good luck fishing.